Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Hello! Oh, you open the door. Hi! Mind if I come in? Ah, of course I can come in. This is my daughter's place. <laughs> so, I haven't been here in a while. This place looks a lot better than it did last time I was here. So, where is, uh, where, where is everybody? They're not here right now, but I happen to be here. Oh, Jesus! Oh, you're here. Yes, I am. And it's quite a pleasure to see Lucifer Morningstar once again. But if you're looking for everyone here, including your daughter, that you haven't seen in a few months, they're out right now doing a little activity, you know, to make sure everybody is doing well and getting along together. Well, that seems to be all good and dandy. I just didn't expect someone of your caliber to be here by yourself. But, uh, do you know exactly where they went, Al? Hmm... My memory is failing me right now. Maybe you could look around yourself. After all, this is your circle, is it not? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, anyway, so, Hell's Wanderer, have you... Do you know where exactly Charlie and Vaggie have been? I have to talk to them about, you know, important things. You didn't get the memo about them being anywhere else today? No? Well, it looks like the only person that knows is, uh him. <laughs> yes. Well, Lucy. It's Lucifer. Whatever. How have you been? It's been a few months ever since I've seen you. Have you been working hard? Have you been, you know, talking to heaven about this whole extermination thing? Yeah, I know it might be very difficult to be dealing with all by yourself, right? Yeah, well, i uh, been talking to a few of my brothers up there, and, uh, well, I mean, we've come to agreement and come to disagreements, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting a lot of things done without anyone else's help, especially yours. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think everything's going pretty well. Well enough to stop the exterminations at a whole? Or well enough to have them push back the time that we all get killed down here? <sighs> well enough to have some of the time pushed back, but I'm still talking to my father about this whole thing that happened with them. You know, Hell's Wanderer, the human that's alive in Hell. Yes, yes, I am all here for the helping of this poor human soul stuck down here in the depths of hell. I am all here for it. And I've been hearing a few things around town as well. What, what, do, you, what do you mean by hearing a few things? Did you... G give me, give me one second, Al. So, um, you didn't tell Al about the deal we made, right? Are you insane? What? What? Are you? <sighs> all right, all right, all right. It's fine. It's fine. As long as you didn't make a deal with him, it's fine. It's fine. Ow. My good 
pal here. Hey. So, um, look, I know you know about the whole deal I made with our good friend here. Mm-hmm. And I told them before I made the deal that if I made a deal with them, I had to own their soul and stuff like that. I I briefed them about the whole situation. Trust me, I told them like four different times. <laughs> they were they were very eager. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Maybe because they wanted power from the most powerful being of all hell. Have you ever thought of that, Lucifer? Have you ever thought in just plain, simple thoughts that a human would want that type of power to take back up to Earth and take over? Have you thought of that? All right, all right, I get it, I get it, you walking piece of Laffy Taffy. I get it, all right? I messed up. I made a deal with a live human. But I didn't make a soul-binding contract, like some people down here would. I made a simple contract. They could summon me at any time with the whistle that I made them. Ah, yes, I do know about that. The tiny little whistle that they showed me down in the Wrath Ring, where they were trying to visit all sorts of scenes about who opened the portals and whatnot, yada, yada, yada. Wait, they, they showed you the whistle that I made them? Mm-hmm, indeed. Very tiny, by the way. I thought you would be making something bigger, you know, to compensate for something you don't have. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know, it doesn't matter how big it is, it's the motion in the ocean, if you know what I'm trying to say here. Right. Anyway... But uh, Hell's Wanderer here has been quite helpful around the hotel as well. You know, helping out with all sorts of different people that have been walking in, and also just helping around with Charlie, Vaggy, Husker, Angel, and yours truly. Great, I love to hear about it. But not right now. I still need to know where Charlie is. So, Al, if you could... I would love to have the information of where my daughter is. <sighs> Lucifer, you are such a bothersome person. You do know this, right? If you must know where your daughter is with the rest of the people that were in the hotel, they are in Cannibal Town right now, trying to recruit more people to go into the hotel itself so they can rehabilitate sinners, you know. The whole reason that this hotel was made in the first place. All right, thanks. That's all I needed to know, you fucking jackass. So I will be heading over to Cannibal Town now, and, uh... Now hold on there, you short king. There's a few things I also forgot to tell you. Okay, first, don't call me short king ever again in your life. Second, what is it that you need from me, Al? You could call me a little bit more curious than anything, but I did notice something in the hotel that you left over. It was a, um, oh, apple tree of sorts. Oh, yeah, I uh, planted an apple tree before leaving. Why? What's up with it? Is it dying or something? You know, you have to water plants to keep them alive, right, Al? Yes, yes, I knew that already. Water plants keeps them alive, I know. But... There was something strange about the apples that were growing out of the apple tree itself. You see, proper apples, they grow from green to red. These apples grow from green to yellow. Somewhat of a golden tint to them as well. Care to explain? I don't know about how apples grow. It could be something in the soil. We're in hell, for Christ's sakes. I know we're in hell. Trust me, I haven't forgotten. But these apples seem to have more of a shimmer to them. And, from what I could feel when I picked one, more magical than a regular apple. You didn't happen to eat one of those apples, did you, Alistair? 
Heavens no! I'm not much of an apple guy myself. I prefer venison. Oh, but, but, ain't, aren't, aren't you a... Never mind. Okay, well, as long as you didn't eat the apples off that tree, you should be fine, honestly. But, uh, anyway, I am heading to Cannibal Town now. You two stay safe, and also, if you hear anything from my daughter, if she needs me anytime, make sure to uh, contact me, or, you know, Hell's Wanderer, you have the whistle, you can, you know, blow into it and bring me in here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. Alright, take care, you uh, Hell's Wanderer, Al. It's always a pleasure to see you, Short King. Stop calling me that. Well, that was fun, now wasn't it? Always good to hear from him and his old shenanigans. <laughs> hmm. Oh, by the way, Hell's Wanderer, I have a simple job for you, if you don't mind. And if you're not doing anything as well. Perfect. Here, follow me.